Let's not dwell on the Raiders. Let's start, talk, start talking about our first review game of the weekend. And that we are going to be talking about the Chicago Bears beating the Washington Commanders 15. Sorry, losing to the Washington Commanders 15 to 18. God, <laughs> Sky, Sky makes it so look so easy. I mean, it looks so hard. <laughs> Um, obviously, a dramatic, dramatic late win for Jaden Daniels and this Washington Commanders. Um, a, a Hail Mary uh, caught by one um, Noah Brown in the yep. 23 seconds left on the clock. Obviously, stadium went wild. Probably the loudest we've heard Washington Stadium in a very long time. Um, I mean, they've had a lot <laughs> to cheer about this season. But um, yeah. quite a close contest going down to the wire between these two teams. Very much defense, a, a very good defense against a very, very good offense. Um, I mean, we'll start with Commanders to begin with. Um, I mean, the, yeah, 481 total yards for 18 points isn't isn't so good. Um, but you know, they got they got you know, they've got over 20 every game this season, and they they they, they again have have done a really good stellar performance against the Bears, James, but um yeah. it, it still went down to the wire. It did, and it and it was one of those games where Washington really looked in control of it for a long time. But they had that game that I feel as though every single team has one or two, and a lot of teams have a lot more. But they just couldn't get out of their own way. You know, mm -hmm. they were close, always close, always close, and then nothing. Um, and, you know, it, like I say, it, it felt right that they won it. Obviously, the dramatic way in which they won it, um, they would have preferred to have avoided. But at the same time, I think when you're on a good run like they have been and obviously they moved to sort of six and two now um you need one of these games you need one of these games where you play okay but you can't quite execute the last few plays that, that get you over the line and get you the points but you still come away with the win and i think that's what these what what good teams are able to do and what you need for for confidence i mean like you say they put up so many yards and they should have had twice the amount of points that they ended up coming away with um for, for that you know net yardage i mean we saw a ridiculous stat in the lions game where they had something like 50 yard total yards and managed to score a, a, over 40 to 50 points and you know so there are these weird anomaly games where it goes one way and the other um but yeah i mean they couldn't get out of the runway. There was a weird set of plays that I would love to get your opinion on and know what you would have done. So it was, I think it was like 12 7. It was late in the fourth. Chicago fumbled the handoff. The, you know, they were going for the big man touchdown right at the goal line. Um, and Washington get control of the ball. And then they managed to move down the field. And then they get to fourth and inches on the 12. Mm -hmm. And then Cliff Kingsbury's just really, really conservative. And there were basically three possible outcomes. You either convert the first down, assuming obviously you're a fairly efficient offense, which they had been for the majority of the game. You don't convert and the Bears get the, Bears get the ball back. Um, uh, or Washington punt the ball to the Bears and the Bears either burn the rest of the clock and go on and score and win. Or, uh, or if there's any time left, you fail to score and lose. You know, Washington did punt which i thought was completely the wrong move chicago took the ball down the field punched it in added the two-point conversion um but thankfully the bears left enough time on the clock for the hail mary to to go so in that situation you know you're cliff kingsbury you've been playing well he punted would, would you have punted there? I, I like it felt like nobody else would. Tony Romo was like, mm, it's, it's even saying this is ridiculous to punt. You know, just just go for it. I think when when you're the best, the best rush, one of the best rushing teams in football with Jaden Daniels, you got to go for it. I think I think you do got to go for it. Um, it's it's tough. It, 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 I think it's tough in those scenarios. I think it, it there's a lot of feel to it, isn't there? You know, yeah. when you're there. There's a lot of feel to what's going on. I mean, this Bears defense is, is a pretty decent defense. Yeah. And, you know, they, they were having their number at some points in, in, at this point. Um, so I, I think I would have gone for it. I am a little bit less conservative than most. Well, not that I've ever been a head coach, but um, <laughs> than, than most head coaches. So I would have gone for it. Yeah. Like, Jane, like this, Jane Daniels is that guy. 
Yeah. We know this now. He is that guy, man. Like, he is so special. He is so good. I mean, he was 21 38, 326 yards of touchdown on the day. Like, played really well. Like, this guy, this guy's really great. He he is really, really great. And I think you're very right when you said about like every good team needs these. It's a wake up game, isn't it? It's a wake up, you're not that good game. Ravens yeah. got it. I mean, we, 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 that's not going to be one of the games we reviewed today, but the, the Ravens had that sort of game, like wake up game, really, because they've been on such a great run of form. Um, so I, I don't think this is like, you know, I, I think this is just an anom anomaly for Commanders games, but I think you're right. It's a what, wake up, wake up. We need to, we've learned some things. We've tried some yeah. things. Let's go on to the next game. You know, they're, they're getting next, they're getting to the Giants next divisional game, really important game for them, especially against the defense, but it's pretty good. Um, yeah. depending, depending on tonight's outcome, that might be a bit more tasty than, than we imagine. Um, <laughs> but leaning on to the Bears side of things, I mean, um, Caleb did not play overly well in this game. I mean, 10 for 24, 131 yards. It felt like that swift, DeAndre Swift long 50 yard plus touchdown was the one that sort of sparked the Bears to go. Um, yeah. And and you know they're, they're a good deep they they are a good defense I think they kept a minute and and and, and uh, the the Bears yet again on the you know sort of in that limbo moment aren't they still in that limbo moment yeah not quite sure uh, what they are yet I think no this is this is the thing there's there's a few of those teams knocking around at the moment um, the Bears being one of the more prominent ones obviously because they have a a first round rookie for number one draft pick rookie QB. And it's, it puts that spotlight a little bit more intensely on your team when you have that. Um, in some ways, you know, let's look at it, just going back to the commanders for a second, being the number two pick. Okay. It's still inc incredibly high, but not being the number one just takes that little bit of the edge off you. Um, and, I don't know. I don't know what it was about Caleb Williams in this game, and it's and with some of his other games, he still looks on it like indecisive at times. And obviously, he is a rookie, so I'm not going to go too hard on him. Um, you know, he's got a, a great sort of wealth of weapons to 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 throw to, um, and he seems to be having these games where you think they're building that connection and that rapport. You know. He and Adunze especially have looked quite well in sync, but then all of a sudden he can't get it going. And I sort of wonder if he's actually almost spoilt for choice in some ways. Yeah, I know this sounds, in some ways, so many teams would be uh, grateful to have um, so much choice at wide receiver, but is he, is he trying to spread the ball around too much? Is he not being able to find enough of a connection because... These guys are so demanding, you know, Keenan Allen's going to want so many touches and DJ Moore's going to want so many touches and Adunze's going to want so many touches and, and so on and so forth. Um, and obviously you've got the guys in the backfield want the ball. It, it, is he suffering a little bit maybe from, from not just building that one connection with that one guy who's this sort of like comfort blanket guy to go to on, on the plays that are difficult on the third and whatever's or, you know, the, the, on the plays that they really need? I, I, I don't know. Um, only... Maybe time will tell, but hey, it's a trending in the right direction, but he's just not getting there as quick as, as obviously someone like Jaden Daniels seems to have done. Mm. They seem, I, I, I completely agree with you. I mean, it was six targets for Adunze, seven for Allen, four for Moore. Adunze with three receptions and Allen with Moore with two. I mean, there was that horrible throw that he threw to Moore that was at like, for, for, I think it was on the third down, but it was a swing out pass and Moore was yeah. like, oh, lit up. It yeah. was like a ouch moment. Yeah, right? it was down for a while like you could feel it through the screen yeah yeah and i think i think you know it they need to have that complementary offense you know when you when you're 18 carries 120 129 yards touchdown for deandre swift like you've got to then complement that with them passing the ball as well yeah uh, it, 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 well, well well i suppose <laughs> yeah <laughs> like it's i i know so that third down efficiency was 16 percent. i mean it's got to be higher. It's got to be hard to convert against a good, yeah. a good, good teams. And um, I, but I think they show grit. I think they've shown oh, grit yeah. in a couple of games. And like, I don't hate Caleb. Like, Caleb, Caleb's reaction at the end of the game seemed a bit, you know, very, very upset. Clearly, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I think, I think some, you know, sometimes it's sort of that thing of Tom Brady. With Tom Brady, it was passion. With Aaron Rodgers, it was moaning. You know, like, yeah. Like, some, some some papers will say it's it's 
childish and, and 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 you know rookie behavior and some people will say it shows how intense he is and what a leader he is like i like that from him you know they, they were in this game the whole way and, and it's, a, it's a crushing defeat for them you know they're four and three on the season now that have been five and three five and three you suddenly start talking about chicago bears a little bit differently in that in that nfc north division as well especially with the packers running running high and thin against against the jags and the vikings um losing as well earlier this week and, and and, and and but obviously the Lions had that huge win, so suddenly yeah. that division becomes a little bit more, you know. And, and, and the Bears are still, yeah, you know, the, shockingly, the Bears are still in, yeah. in with it as well. And and they they they're gonna they, they're a team that's learning. They're a team that's learning with Caleb. And um, yeah, it's it's a, it's very interesting. As I said the Commanders would go five and three. The Bears would go five and three if Bears had won that game. Yeah, suddenly you're like wow, like these two teams are. Totally different in a way, aren't they? Well, not totally different, but it, it would have felt weird, though. I think in that regard, for the same record, but two teams with very different feels. Like the Commanders feel like a good team, whereas the Bears feel like they managed to just about get to those wins. Um, and I think the most that you can ask for as a Bears fan this time, even if you end up finishing bottom of that division, if you still finish, you can still finish bottom with a winning record. That'll be just a wild division. Um, but obviously that is immense progress on where they've been the last few years. So, you know, they'll only get stronger as the season goes on, more exposure and more um it's for, for Caleb Williams to the to the rest of the league. Um, you know, more experience, more experience for the other young guys on the team. They'll get stronger in the off season uh, through the draft and through free agency and whatever else. So they they should keep trending in the right direction. And there's a good chance that some of those other teams in there aren't able to strengthen like they can. So, you know, there will be that perhaps narrowing of the gap, but it's just, it's going to take time. And I think Bears fans knew that they've just got caught up in the hype um, because it's been going well for, pretty much from the start really it's been going okay anyway so i don't know maybe this is a little bit of a, a comeback down to earth game for them just sort of reassess understand where you are and, and go again go again next week yeah it certainly uh could well be um look at some of the other